Hello and welcome. This video is a quick guide reference on how to do a cold and dark start on the SD40-2. First of all, sit in the engineer's seat. Reverse, insert if it isn't already inserted and place into neutral. Locate the fuse cabinet on the back wall and check all the switches and if open set the main breaker to closed. Also on the back wall of the cab ensure the isolation switch is set in the start stop isolated position. You don't want it in the run position, you want to set this switch in the start stop isolation position. Once you've done that, leave the cab about halfway down, you will find the engine room with two latches that you have to unlock. Once you've opened the engine room, locate the prime and start button and hold in the prime position for 10 seconds. Once you prime the engine, hold in the start position for another 10 seconds. Once the engine has started, you can go over to the right hand side of the engine room, locate the governor handle and test the engine. You simply test the engine by cranking the governor handle. Once you're satisfied that the engine is up and running, close the doors in the correct order and lock both latches and re-enter the cab. So on the back wall panel in the cab, set the isolation switch to run. Sit back down in the engineer's seat and set the MU 2A valve to lead or dead. Set the cutoff valve to freight. You can then put the reverser into forward position and set whatever lights you wish to set on the loco. You can then put the engine run, generator run and control fuel pump to the on positions. Uh, make sure all the brakes are off, automatic brake, comms you can put on, independent brake, make sure that is, that is off. And reverse it forward, a little bit of throttle and you should then get going. If you've done all them procedures in the same way I've done, the engine, the loco, should then run. There you go. Simple as that. Try to keep that nice, easy, simple and quick. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other train simulator videos.